May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Good morning and welcome to Cram and Kirk. Indeed, welcome from Cram and Kirk. Today is Sunday the 17th of January. I'm Ian Gilmer, the Associate Minister, and it is a pleasure to welcome you to church this morning. The service today is going to be slightly different. It's going to be a recorded service. We have Biddy Kelly of Fresh Start taking part. We have Simon Bertram, our organist, and Leslie Cumming, one of our elders, reading. Notices are that the Bible study continues. It will be on Wednesday night. And if you want details, please phone in to the church office. We don't have anybody manning the office, but the phone messages will be checked and there will be a response to you if you need contact. Coffee mornings are taking place at 11 a.m. on Wednesdays and Saturdays. For anybody who wants to come along and share some fellowship and some good conversation, um, I look forward to seeing you at those. If anyone really needs a visit, I'm willing to come and meet with you, wear a, wear a mask and be socially distant, that would be fine. And good news from Cramond this week, is that our halls are now being used for the vaccination programme um, the Cram and Surgery are using it and the over 80s are being vaccinated now so um, hopefully that process is going to move on very quickly. These are all the notices. Let us worship God together, let us Come close to God by sharing in our psalm for today. It's Psalm 139. Lord, you have examined me and you know me. You know everything I do. From far away you understand all my thoughts. You see me whether I am working or resting. You know all my actions. Even before I speak, you already know what I will say. You are all round me. On every side, you protect me with your power. Your knowledge of me is too deep. It is beyond my understanding. Thanks be to God. We're now going to share in our prayer the collect for today. You can find the words of the collect on the order of service, which is available on our website. Let's pray the words together. Eternal Father, your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, is the light of the world. Grant that your people may shine with the radiance of his glory, so he may be known and worshipped to the ends of the earth, with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We're now going to listen to Leslie Cumming share a reading from the first book of Samuel and then we will move into the reflection which is a conversation between Biddy and myself. Let us hear the word of God. The reading is taken from the Old Testament, the book of Samuel, chapter 3 and reading from verse 1. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli the word of the Lord was rare in those days. Visions were not widespread. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his room. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel, and he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli and said, here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call, lie down again. So he went and lay down. The Lord called again, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call my son, lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel again a third time, and he got up and went to Eli and said, 
Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go, lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Now the Lord came and stood there, calling as before, Samuel, Samuel! And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. May God bless to us the reading and hearing of his holy word, and to his name be all glory and praise. Amen. The sermon today is rather unusual in that we had asked Biddy Kelly, who is the leader of the Fresh Start um, organisation, to come and speak to us live, and I was going to ask her some questions. So you're going to hear my questions and get Biddy on a video link, giving her answers to them as part of this sermon. Sermons, of course, are built around God's Word, and so we had Leslie's reading, which came from 1 Samuel chapter 3. That great story, the story of the calling from Almighty God to the little boy Samuel, who really doesn't know what's happening. You know that story. He hears the voice three times, Samuel, Samuel, and he goes to the priest Eli, whose care he's been appointed to, and he asks him, why are you calling me? Eli is revealed as somebody whose family is dysfunctional. They're not doing what they should be doing to look after the community within their care. And so the story isn't just a wake-up call for Samuel, who goes on to become a great leader in the Jewish community. It's also a wake-up call to the leadership, a, leader, a wake-up call to us all. When God calls Samuel, it is clear to Eli that God had remained silent, but will not be patient with him or his family anymore. The nature of his dysfunction and failure has become obvious. It isn't that God has given up, but that Eli and his family have moved away from God. And so this is a great story as we begin to think about Fresh Start, which is one of the ways in which this Cramon congregation, under the leadership of Russell Barr, have engaged with the wider community, and particularly those most vulnerable through homelessness. Biddy, tell us, tell the Cramon congregation a little bit about yourself. My name's Biddy Kelly, and I'm the Managing Director of Fresh Start. Um, I've been at Fresh Start for about four years now, and I'm very proud and privileged to be part of such a wonderful organisation. Would you be able to describe to us what has actually been happening in Fresh Start during this period of pandemic? So in March 2020, the world stopped. But here at Fresh Start, we knew that we couldn't. So although we had to close our doors to our volunteers and to donations, the staff team had to step up and step in, which they did. So on day one of lockdown, we actually set up a dedicated phone line for people in North Edinburgh to be able to call if they needed food or assistance or any other kind of support. So our staff team manned that. And a lot of the time people were phoning for emergency food packs, but they were also phoning because they'd lost community connection, they'd lost their social contacts and they were locked in their houses. Um, during that time, we, provide, we still managed to provide people with over 5,000 starter packs for those moving on from homelessness. We provided 8,609 emergency food packs to local people on a weekly basis. Um, at the height of the pandemic, I think we were delivering to over 500 households each week. Um, we also gave out white goods. We just had to do it very differently. Um, so unfortunately, you know, our staff team didn't get to go out and meet people personally. But we still managed to get, you know, like a family of 10, fridge and cooker broke down at the same time. Um, by the next day, they had a fridge and a cooker, thanks to your support and, for, and the staff team at Fresh Start. This is incredible. Clearly, you have a highly motivated and creative staff. It seems that they've increased the amount of work they've been given to do. 
do you have um, any more to share? We have managed to deliver a small number of hit squads once the restrictions eased. But what had to happen was that our staff team had to get really, really creative. So during lockdown, they did. Um, so what we did was for our hit squads, we um, started doing remote hit squads where clients would be given um, paint and equipment and instructions. And also um, the staff team were on the end of the phone to help people. And so far they transformed 22 homes. What we realised was that a lot of people in our local community in North Edinburgh had no green spaces. They had nowhere to go outside. So we developed the Green Grafters, which were teams of volunteers who went in socially distanced, of course, and they tidied up people's gardens. Um, they transformed 33 gardens in total and the number of patios that they found that people didn't know that they had was unbelievable. Shared with us. <laughs> Is there even more from your creative staff? This is impressive. And our cooking classes, we, we, we got creative. So a lot of them went online um, and we did Zoom classes, um, but also we developed Dish of the Day where people were given um, a bag of ingredients with a recipe card and also access to a closed Facebook group so that people could share the creations that they'd made. That wasn't really just about um, the cooking, but about the social connections as well. We also opened the first Your Local Pantry in Scotland and within four weeks we had 200 members. So basically the pantry provides people with food with dignity. They come in, they pay £3.50 for 10 items plus additional um, fresh and ready meals that are donated to us. So they probably go away with about £20 worth of food. Do you have some plans for the future, Biddy, as the leader of Fresh Start? So what are our plans for next year? Well, the Community Hub is a huge development for us and the renovations have started and we hope to open our doors in uh, spring this year in some kind of way or form. There'll be a community kitchen, there'll be a shop providing household goods, but really this is going to be a space where we are connecting people. It's about community connectedness, it's about relationships um, and it's about us hopefully assisting people to stop them becoming homeless. So we'll have income maximisation, we'll have um, you know, expenditure reduction um, and we will continue to do all of our other services in helping homeless people move on from homelessness. Cranland has made two decent donations recently through Margaret and Russell Barr's retirement gift part of that going to Fresh Start and again through the Christmas Tree Festival. What other ways can we support through finance? None of this could happen without your support and your help and your assistance. Um, you know, currently you're not able to give us any donations, um, but what you have been doing is giving us financial donations, which has helped us purchase the goods that we need for people. Um, I'd like to thank you all for your generous donations and if you would like to donate at Fresh Start you can go on our Facebook page or donate into our bank account. I really hope to open our doors back to our volunteers very, sometime very soon um, but whilst we're in this I'd just like to ask you all to stay safe and well. Many thanks for taking the time to listen to me today and I hope to see you in person soon. Thank you very much Biddy. You're clearly an impressive leader in an organisation that has been hugely committed and courageous and creative during this difficult time. May God continue to bless you and the work at Fresh Start. As we close the sermon, going back to 1 Samuel and that great calling, let us listen hard for God's voice in the coming week. Listen hard for what God is saying to us as a community, as a congregation, as individuals. There are lots of things we can do as we continue to be God's people in an ever-changing world. Thanks be to God.
now let us bring our prayers to God. Let us pray together. We praise you, God, for Jesus, who has become for us the focal point of faith. Through him, we find our way to you and know we need not be afraid. Through him, you make your way to us. And we make our way into your closer presence. Speak, Lord, your word of renewal and forgiveness now. Speak and we will listen. Speak to our hearts and our minds. Awaken us from our slumbers. Awaken us like Samuel and Eli, that we may see the world in a new way and change direction to serve you day by day. We pray for violent men and women today, people who undermine high ideals by their disregard for other people's lives. We pray for those who put wages before service and self before others, those who idolise possessions and those who have no care for their neighbours. We pray that they may have a turning around and come to know that there is another way, modelled best by Jesus of Nazareth, to put others before self and to renounce all violence and to not let possessions dominate us. We pray this week for the United States of America and for a peaceful transition to the presidency of Joe Biden. We pray for Cram and Kirk at this time and for Fresh Start. Help us to use our time, our talents and our money to support these worthy causes. Thank you for the whole world church still living to proclaim your love which is too great to be contained within the confines of a man-made institution. We join our hearts and minds with those in the present, those from the past, those in heaven and those on earth as we pray together in Jesus' words. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. It is our pattern to have an interactive benediction and if you have the words before you please share that now the lord be with you and also with you go now in the peace of christ our lord the grace of the lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with us all evermore amen <laughs>